What's going on, you two? We are entering the final third of Tank Tucker's freshman season at the University of North Carolina. And with 20,000 points accumulated so far, we are going to upgrade his catching, speed, elusiveness, and strength. Trying to upgrade the speed a little bit to get past the linebackers a little bit easier. But we're still focusing on the breaking tackle ability and the more power running attributes. So we'll get into the game here against the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Working with a 7 point deficit early. Tank Tucker trying to lead the UNC Tar Heels back in this game. Having some success against the weak Deacons defense. And now on 3rd down and 10. Tucker comes out of the backfield and he is unable to come up with a grab and so the drive stalls and Wake Forest really taking it to our defense up 14 to nothing we're trying to get anything going and our pass game is starting to get open we get into the Wake Forest territory and a 15 yard penalty is going to allow us to get even closer to the end zone and so on third and five Tucker takes a handoff and goes up the middle for a gain of roughly 10 yards and how about this call? The halfback draw on third and seven catches the Demon Deacons defense off guard. And the coaches look really smart on that play as Tucker finds the end zone for the first time. And we get the ball back with roughly a minute and a half remaining in the second quarter. Trying to tie this game up before we get underway in the second half. We get a nice pass to our receiver on the sideline now working inside a field goal range. And on first down and ten coming out of the shotgun. Tank helping keep a clean pocket for the quarterback as he threads the needle to a receiver and he gets a first down inside of the 15 yard line. We have a great opportunity to score a touchdown here and Tucker going over the middle but the pass goes to a different receiver who is double covered and Tank lets out his frustration on the interceptor and they would have to try to tie this game up in the second half now. And to begin the second half we started again with the interception. This is getting old guys. I'm sick of this quarterback. First and ten, looking deep, and he always seems to just, that's his safety blanket, going deep. He throws an interception, so it gives him an, an excuse to go deep. Just give the ball the tank already. Second down and ten, we're still trying to pass, and it's working for the most part. And they take Tucker out of the game. The big boy must need a breather. And they're trying to score a touchdown. We're down by six points late in the game, needing a touchdown. And Tank enters the game. Fourth and five. This is for all the marbles. This is where big players make big plays. And so Tank Tucker out of the gun. He's going to go over the middle, get separation on the linebacker, catch the ball, get into the end zone. That's how you do it right there. Tar Heels win the game by one, 21 to 20 over a struggling Demon Deacons team, but a win is a win, and Tank Tucker now will just see a statistical update, a little over 500 yards on the ground, and another 119 through the air, and so we're going to go upgrade some more stats now with our 1500 plus points, and we're going to upgrade strength and break tackle to pivotal, very pivotal attributes to a power running back like Tank Tucker. But we hit the gridiron again against the NC State Wolfpack. Tucker on third and 18. What a play there. The 400-pounder going over the middle to make the big first down catch. And then on third down and 10 later in the drive, Tucker's wide open, but they throw it to the other side of the field where a guy is covered and it's intercepted. Is anybody actually that surprised? And we would take over the ball, but for some reason we want to do a screen pass play action on our own goal line. That's an easy safety. NC State up 2-0. to zero. And on third and four, our next drive, Tucker goes nowhere, bringing up fourth and inches and another punt. And so NC State starting to build a lead now. First down and ten, another interception. NC State's going to take this one all the way to the house, making it 16 to nothing. So we're now entering the final stages of the first half, and Tucker cannot get anything going on the ground. Come on, guys, make some holes for him to run through. He's a big boy. Third and inches right there, nothing. We go to the second half now, and a screen pass attempt gets intercepted, and it is just not looking good for the Tar Heels today. Tucker's not having a very good day. The NC State Wolfpack must have a tremendous run defense because they are not letting Tank Tucker get anything on the ground. Now we're going to go we're down 23-0 to late in the third quarter, and we can't get anything going, but Tank's trying to take matters into his own hands with some nice running here on this play, getting deep into NC State territory. But we would not even score on that drive, and NC State would destroy us 30-0. And so Tank Tucker and the UNC Tar Heels dropped a 5-5 five five on the season. Two games left in the year, and they have to play well if they want to make it to a bowl game. And now, if you saw before, there was 14,000 points needed to get this one upgrade that would have really helped Tank Tucker. And so I'm in practice mode right now, trying to get the 1,800 plus points needed to get it. And... I knew I needed a couple big plays. I have 600 so far through 8 reps, and we're not really having that much success. We're going to need a big play of some sort 
if we're going to come even close to getting the 1,800 points needed. And just getting a few yards here and there is not going to help. And now they're calling a toss to Tank Tucker, and he makes a couple of nice cuts. And what do you know, Tank Tucker is off to the races. The big boy scoring a touchdown. Now we're at 1,600 XP with enough reps left to make this a pretty easy task. And Tank Tucker is able to surpass the amount of points needed, and we're able to get the tank. Tank Tucker gets the tank, and his break tackle and carrying and more attributes are now increased to a higher level. And so next episode, we'll see Tank Tucker and the UNC Tar Heels try to get into a bowl game, get that bowl berth, but it's not going to be easy. They got Virginia Tech coming next week, and then they got the Duke Blue Devils. Man, that would be more exciting if it was a basketball game, though, wouldn't it?